in, sir. Ready to get it in. So uh, I'm gonna have you in the chair by the window. Okay. I'm gonna be here. Yeah. And then uh, we got the camera right here set up. So yeah, um, like I said, camera here. Let's get this hand sanitized in. Let's work. Shoot sanitized. Good. Social distancing. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> um, right, we get ready to kick the show off. Alright, I'm with it. Yeah. yeah, bro. Let's get it. Cool. Under the influence. Take one. Yo, welcome to Under the Influence. I'm your host, Aquan Robinson. This is a show about arts, culture, and community. We're talking about storytelling and messaging. Not alcoholic beverages, you feel me? <laughs> so, hey, hey, before we get started, I want to give a shout out to our uh, illustrious host that's allowing us to shoot in this space, Mr. Michael Mora yeah. in this photography studio. Shout out, shout out to him, shout out to him one time. Hey, so uh, this is the first episode. Um, our first guest is the creator, the visionary, the founder, uh, executive director. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Gas, I'm gassing them up one time. I'm 21 Dreams, yeah. Mr. Kalaja Gilchrist, round of applause. Wow. Boss man, hearts. what's happening? Hearts, hearts, hearts. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. like hearts. All, all that, that good stuff, all yeah. that good stuff. What's going on, man? Man, I'm cooler, man. I'm yeah, good. yeah, I'm yeah. Good. yeah. So, you know, it's been a crazy time. Yeah. Uh, these past couple of months, we're dealing with coronavirus. Coronavirus? Coronavirus, how you been holding up, man? <laughs> man, I, I've been pretty good, man. Just, like, I think when everything, when everything just kind of came to a halt, it, I thought I, I really I think like most people like we figured that you know this is just gonna be a week or two. No, actually I thought like when we got the the the, the notification to go ahead and work from the crib, I yeah. was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is gonna last a good four days. Yeah, like, maybe two days. Yeah. Actually I think we got the notice on like a Thursday. I was like, Monday we'll be back in office. <laughs> like, nah, that ain't we still from the house. We still from the house. <laughs> so oh. I think it really it took like it probably took like two weeks. Like to just even kind of figure out, just kind of get used to like, whoa, what's going on? What it was was like, I wasn't, you know, my house. You know, you you create a space where it's a relax. Yeah. You know, you know, it's not a, a work zone where you just like dialed in. So it took me two weeks to just realize to get all my stuff together. Once yeah. I realized that, hey, you know, this is your spot. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta have some type of productivity. Like yeah. it's a workspace, or yeah, you're not gonna be productive. Exactly. That's what's so, up. That's so what's up. It took about two weeks to get into that. Then another two weeks to just kind of find a routine. Um, and then you got a, a month pass by, still no going back to the office, and then you can't go anywhere. So like yeah. mentally, yeah, it started to take a toll. Ooh. Like man, yeah. it, it took it, it it took a minute to just kind of get get things moving and. Um, since then, I just kind of developed some routines okay. to try to keep myself, you That's know, it. from, from yeah. walking into traffic. That's <laughs> <laughs> what no, no, I'm saying. Yeah, I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm all. Yeah, man, because it, it can be debilitating, <laughs> man, especially when you used to, you know, going and coming how you please. Yeah. Or like, you know, getting up with the fellas or whatever. Right. And now it's just like, you, there's no space where you can go do that. Right. You know, so you got to you got to create everything awkward. Yeah, like, oh yeah, yeah, it's, it's yeah, real like, awkward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, fist bump, no germs. No you know germs. what I'm saying? So like, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's what's up, man. Yeah, yeah. So um, you know, during the intro, you know, I, we talked about Twenty One Dreams. So give us a rundown um, on what Twenty One Dreams is for all the listeners and viewers that don't know, um, and then tell us about how you're moving forward during this whole pandemic. Yeah, so uh, 21 Dreams is a 501c3 uh, uh, nonprofit organization. Uh, we are artist collective. Our mission is to influence the growth and uh, value of the arts through creative programming and uh, public engagement. Um, and we do that. Our strategy is, is simple, you know, create, uh, connect people and resources, create opportunities, and uh, build and cultivate the environment. Word. So, um, that's 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 who we are. That's what um, this platform will be a partnership uh, with Twenty One and um, yeah, a grassroots organization, man, of artists and uh, just looking to like do dope stuff. And, How long yeah. have you been operating the, the Twenty One Dreams? Uh, this is our this is our fifth year. Okay. Yeah, we fa uh, was founded in twenty. Oh, that might be actually yeah twenty twenty fifteen. Okay. Yeah, this is this is we're going into our fifth year. So, yeah, so, yeah, you know. How has, 
how has, again, dealing with this pandemic, um, what are you going to do differently moving forward with 21 Dreams? I mean, tell me, I mean, obviously, I know you, you touched on the, on, on, on this show, and we'll talk about this in, in more detail moving forward, but what's different with 21 Dreams platform yeah. during this whole social distancing piece? Yeah. So I think, <clears throat> so I've been on, um, what's interesting is I've been on a call with a lot of our arts organizations and, and we all just kind of being, being very supportive of each other and, and taking notes on how to adjust um, with, one, how to adjust, but also like what the opportunity, what resources and stuff are out there okay. to, like, yeah. to stay to stay alive. Yeah. Um, so that, that's that been one thing is, is identifying um, what it is or how you're going to continue to do your do your work. Mm -hmm. um, so part of part of this time was actually a time I, I should say what, what, what was this May? Yeah so on our on our calendar we really had started to uh, we had already fully pointed this time to start looking at some of our programming and to also launch some of our digital digital media, yep. digital arts uh, programming. So the timeline for, to make that adjustment was already, you know, we already, already. had that mindset of, of making those changes. But um, so you'll see, you'll see some more of that. You'll see this, this show is one of the things that we had uh, on, on the um, agenda, on the, on the programming um, um, schedule. Yep. And then um, also we'll look at some virtual uh, exhibitions as well. Um, that'll be one of the things that we'll do. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, that, that's it. So it's, so it's, it's, it's kind of weird, but yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, yeah, we're figuring it out. But you know, for the most part, engaging engaging with our membership to see what it is that they're what they need, and also um, analyzing our current programming and seeing what we can do to like make sure that we equip our artists with what they can do to continue to build their uh, build their audience. Nice. And, uh, so let's uh, let, let's talk about this show. Yeah. You know this platform under the influence. Yeah. All right. So yeah. what what was the inception of this? You know, when did you get the idea of this concept to to start a, a program like this? I, I would say like un, under the influence was an idea um, probably like two years ago. Okay. A year was it a year. Uh, yeah, like a like two years ago. Mm -hmm. Like two years ago, and I would say like one of the things. Um, again, you know, knowing the mission of, of the organization and so under the influence, knowing the mission of the organization and all, also using one of my superpowers, which I say, you know, as an artist collective, we got, you know, writers, uh, visual artists, uh, painters, uh, me, mine is film and acting yep. and directing. Mm -hmm. So activating one of my superpowers would be using those skill sets to continue to uh, elevate our artists and, and, and uh, grow the community. So with that being said, it was on on my mind about two years ago, just thinking and thinking, um, how can we continue to move 21 forward? How yep. can we continue to, you know, uh, introduce our artists to the, um, to their, to their, to their community. Mm -hmm. um, but then, you know, the precursor to that was actually uh, this, this uh, show that I did like eight, nine years ago called Sliced Bread. Okay. Yeah, Sliced Bread was a live show and it was like, you can really say it was before it's time because we didn't have the tools that we have now. You know gotcha. what I'm saying? We didn't okay. have, we, we, we did it on live stream. Not live stream, yeah, you stream. You stream, okay. You stream, you stream. So, you know, that was before Facebook Live, Instagram, all of that stuff. So that was kind of the precursor to, to uh, Under the Influence and um, I, I, toyed around about bringing that back but the I wanted to bring something fresh okay and if we was to bring a, a a new show or introduce a new show I wanted it to to build uh, be something that uh, the organization could build upon nice and also nice. create some programs so uh, I'm, I'm gonna throw you some some off the cuff questions real quick okay all right just just two all right so uh, first one is you know what makes you feel inspired or like your best self it makes me feel inspired. Oh, uh, man. I think, I think music, music does a good, 
music makes music creates a, a mood and a vibe and kind of amplify whatever it is that uh, I'm wanting to feel that moment or you know looking to kind of dive into yep. that makes me feel good um, and I actually although I don't do enough of it like exercise like running like okay. get you know like yeah, that yeah. stress release oh yeah do it yeah just yeah. get get all that out you, out me and um that makes me feel good and just be and being like being around my being around my people nice you know so uh this question three the hard way what's your top three in, top three influences hard way okay top what now top three influences ooh mm. I'm gonna go back to I'm gonna go back to art yep and when I say art, you know, for me, it's going to be music, it's going to be film. Uh, those are probably the top two under that, under that umbrella. Um, let's see, art, uh, community, community, definitely. Yeah. Like community, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like growing up here and, and, and the people I grew up with and family, you know what I'm saying? Like that, that's definitely... Uh, influence and and culture yeah. <laughs> you know, so yeah. really like yeah you know what this show is about okay you know like 100 percent like culture i love um you know as a black man i love black culture i yeah. always look at i look at um i, I often times i cross compare like growing up in the south and looking at you know my first time i always love reggae music and so my first time going to jamaica i looked at how I can just compare how black folks in Jamaica yeah, and yeah. you know how they had to kind of create their own their language you know patois mm -hmm. it reminds me of like our southern dialect oh for sure you know what I'm saying yeah, it, yeah. it you know for theirs it was like straight from King Britain uh Britain Great Britain mm -hmm. and you know it remixed yeah and, and ours was American English but yeah, man. So those, those those are my top three. Nice, nice. Yeah. All right. So last question: Where where can the okay. the listeners, viewers, connect with you online? Me personally, yeah, personally, yeah. Uh, yeah. Kalanji Gilchrist, uh, Slick Gilchrist is is my my online moniker. It's uh, Slick Gilchrist on Instagram, Twitter, everything. Yeah. Where, where, <laughs> where can we look forward to uh, listening to the show, watching the show? What's the next move? Next move. So. I'm, I'm, you know what I'm saying? The, the next move is to one, uh, go ahead and uh, lock in our next person, yep. our, our next guest. I wish we already have an idea of what that, who that person is going to be. We'll lock that in. We'll send some information about that real soon. And uh, what was the question? <laughs> how can, how can, where can we connect with the folks online as far as oh, okay, under, okay, the influence, okay. under the influence? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, we're, yeah, yeah. we're online. We'll, we'll drop all that in, in, cool, in the social cool. media. Well, yeah, hey, man, I, I appreciate you providing me the platform to do this. Yeah. I'm excited about how we moving forward. Yeah. But under the influence, and, hey, that's a wrap. We're going to wrap it up. What? No, wait, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. What about your influence? My like, influence. Like, as, as a host for the show, like, yeah. what, what is it that you look forward to So out of the show? So I look forward to being able to um, highlight, highlight the culture. Yeah. You know, like you said, really, I mean, we, especially specifically here, in Montgomery and Alabama, we have so many influential people um, and influential um, parts of the culture mm -hmm. that I don't feel, in my opinion, that I don't feel gets highlighted enough. So I feel like we can, we can, we've got an avenue to do that. Um, and as far as personal influences, um, family, number one, it, it, it's all intertwined. So family and music, um, based on that, because I, I grew up with that in, that in the household. My yeah. grandfather was a a professional musician yeah um and that kind of skipped over me as far as like the actual musical talent you ain't got no musical talent nah bro <laughs> my brother got all of it but you know he cleared the table oh yeah he did he did <laughs> you know but, but you know but i got i got a passion for it right. um i, I kind of got the ear for it yeah uh, i used to dj back in the day a little okay, bit so okay, okay. got a little bit of it yeah um and then i, I community too man i mean those that, you know my family inf influence all those things and so we were always big in community always big about giving back so that's been my thing i'm all for it yeah. always have been always will be that's it that's me in a nutshell cool 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 so, well uh, i appreciate you man um 
you know, take taking the baton or taking that the the opportunity or not taking the opportunity, but you know, taking the ask oh, to yeah. host the show and lead the show, and uh, I'm looking forward to it, bro. Oh man, it was a, it was an easy sell, brother. Yeah, I mean, you know, just sign me up. I'm in for it. It, it's good when the when the when when they align. Yeah. You know, we talked about the other day, superpowers combine. You know, we like Voltron. Yeah. You know what absolutely. I'm saying? So we come together, create something bigger. So I'm excited, man. I appreciate it. Cool. Come on, Robinson, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Colossus Gilchrist. Shout out. Our shout host, out. Shout out. Our host of, hey, uh, uh, under the influence. That's it. Under the influence. <laughs> First episode. It's a wrap. We appreciate y'all. Come back. Check us out.